In this video series, we will be reviewing key concepts taught in Pre-Calculus 2. This video series should be used for review or studying for final exam, but this video series should not be used for initial teaching. So the first question that we're going to go over is going to be a right triangle trig problem. In Sichuan, China, Bernarda stands at the top of the Jinping 1 dam and measures the angle of depression down to where Benjamin is standing at 2,000 feet from the base of the dam. If the angle of depression is 26.6 degrees, how tall is the dam? Round to the nearest tenth of a foot. So there's a couple of things that I want to highlight in here. I want to highlight that Bernarda measured the angle of depression. So she measured the angle of depression, that is important to know. And the angle of depression is 26.6 degrees. The other thing that I want to highlight, just so that I have it, is that Benjamin is standing at 2,000 feet from the base of the dam. So now I'm ready to start drawing. It is always wise to start by drawing out what does this picture look like. And so I'm going to draw the dam first. This is the dam. And Bernarda is standing on top of the dam. She measured the angle of depression from the top of the dam down to Benjamin to be 26.6 degrees. So now, angle of depression is as if I had a straight line here, and it's imaginary. The angle of depression is the amount that it angles downward. And of course, we're making a right triangle, even though that doesn't really look like it. That's a right triangle. And Bernarda found that this angle here is 26.6 degrees. Benjamin is standing here, and he is 2,000 feet from the base of the dam. So there's a couple of cool things here. Um, the first way that we could look at that is that this right here is a 90 degree corner. So if I did 90 degrees minus 26.6, that would give me 63.4 degrees for this angle here. The other cool thing is that this is really a set of parallel lines. This line here and this line here, they're parallel. And if those are parallel, this line here is a transversal, which would make this line here or this angle here, 26.6 degrees, because those are opposite interior angles, which are the same. You could have also got that by saying, okay, well, 180 minus 90 minus 63.4 is 26.6, because all of the angles in a triangle need to add up to 180 degrees. So ultimately, we are searching for the height. We are searching for this here, and I'm going to label it y just because it's vertical. And so we are searching for this y value here. And if we have this angle, we have opposite and we have adjacent. If we're looking at opposite and adjacent, then we should use our tangent. So tangent of 26.6 degrees is y over 2,000, opposite over adjacent. We want to get y by itself, so we'll multiply by 2,000. So y equals 2,000 times tangent of 26.6 degrees. We want to round to the nearest tenth of a foot, and so let's go ahead and grab our calculator. So here's our calculator. We're going to want to make sure this is in degree mode, um, which is right here, I think. No, it's in degree mode right now. <laughs> and so we're going to want to say the tangent of 26.6, and we're going to multiply that by 2,000. And we get that the height of the dam is 1,001.5 feet. 1,001.5 feet. 
so y equals 1001.5 feet and make sure you include your units. So we read the question, we drew a diagram, and then we found what trig ratio was going to help us solve for the missing side.